We're changing the order here on Norm for those of you who come every Sunday. It's a different order today. We're doing things a little different. Perhaps like in the near future I'll explain to you why we're doing those changes. But one of the privileges that we have today, and I'd like to capitalize that with the children especially, is that we have the opportunity of celebrating infant baptism. If you look at the Old Testament, we just read from the Old Testament, right? We, we see right in the first book of the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, and uh, we have in chapter 17 especially, from uh, 12 on, but especially 17, when God enters into a covenant. We, we have like, we, we, I love weddings, right? In weddings, you, you exchange vows, right? Covenants like entering into exchanging your vows. The good thing with God is that he's mighty. So he's the one who gives the promise and it also gives the guarantee that he'll fulfill the promises. And he has this covenant, enter, enters into covenant with Abraham, right? In chapter 17. And he has, he institutes a ceremony called circumcision. And circumcision has deep meaning meant belonging someone was like there was a sign visible sign that that person belonged to God's people uh, set aside to sanctify all those things and God told Abraham that's for you and your children after you but circumcision had a major flaw if you remember it could only be applied to baby boys right so that was a problem and thank God that in the New Testament, it expands in Christ. All these barriers are broken. And uh, now we have baptism. And again, ex extended to our children. If you remember, there was a jailer that asked Paul and Silas. He was desperate. He was about to take his own life. He says, what must I do to be saved? You remember his answer? What they answered him? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you and your house. You shall be saved, you and your house. And yet we are told in the same evening, not only the jailer, but his entire household, as they were called, all his family was baptized. Same thing with Cornelius and so on and so forth. So do you get the idea? And it's, it's a privilege that we have Adriana and Helen here and with uh, Michaela and Noah and, and Hannah. And now she, spiritually... I mean, we know that uh, God's promise to Helen and Adriano, they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is their Savior. He is their Lord. They, will, they, they have this covenant with God. And God says, my promise is for you and your little one. And this, the belonging sign is the water baptism. Why water and why baptism? There are a lot of symbol, symbols in, in the use of the water. In the Old Testament, when someone transgress God's word they needed to be forgiven so a, an animal a lamb was sacrificed and the blood poured in the bowl just like this and then it sprinkled over the altar signifying there's a substitution your transgression is being forgiven by the blood of the sacrificed lamb when you come to the New Testament Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world so he symbolizes the power of the blood of Jesus over the parents' lives and now the promise that will be extended also to the children. So that's the forgiveness, but also belonging, just like in the circumcision, belongs to, to the church family, belongs to God's people. But that's yet another one, the, the promise that when we are within the Lord, we are given the Holy Spirit. And the Holy, Holy Spirit is the one who cleanses us not from the outside in, but from the inside out. There's the Holy Spirit at work in their lives, in the life of Hannah, in the, helping her understand the scriptures as you teach them, as you model it for them, and all those, those things. And we as church family have the privilege of participating and entering into this covenant, promising to us that we will assist you. But we have a ceremony for that. Will you come now and... Uh, position yourselves here and I have some questions for you mom and dad if you want to come to let, let the grandparents come so they can she, she will be so comfortable right they know in Michaela you guys can move to this side as well <laughs> I think Hannah wants grandpa, grandma or grandpa that's fine. <laughs> Can you guys see there too? <laughs> she wants mom, right? 
<laughs> Questions for you, Adriana and Helen. Do you acknowledge your child's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? Do you? Yes. Do you claim, we heard of, God, of God's promise, do you claim God's covenant promises in her behalf and do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for her salvation as you do for your own salvation? Do yes. you? Yes, we do. Do you now, with, without any reservations, Noah, <laughs> to dedicate your child to God, and you promise, in humble reliance upon the Holy Spirit guidance, that you will do your very best to set before her a godly example, that you will pray with and for her, and will teach her the ways of the Lord, and that you will strive by all means to bring her up in the knowledge and in the ways of the Lord Jesus Christ to you. Yes. Adriana, may I ask you to, if you may, hold Hannah and pray this prayer of dedication. And I'll do a quick prayer, I'll say. <laughs> God, Heavenly Father, I thank you, my Lord, for this time here. Jesus, uh, this is, to me, is a great day. It's a day of, uh, it's, it's a great, uh, it's a day of a uh, seal. It's a day of, uh, of a mark, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Uh, Father, as I, as I did this in the past for my two uh, younger children, Lord Jesus, now I'm doing the same uh, to my youngest daughter, Father, as a, Proclamation, Lord Jesus, as a proclamation of your love, uh, of your greatness over her, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Jesus, in your holy and precious name, O Lord, my Father, that you receive this child right now in your arms and that you bless her as you have blessed uh, my other children and my family. Yes, Lord. Father God, we trust you. We believe in you, Jesus. And that's why we're here today, to declare the life of Hannah uh, Teresa Silva into your hands, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. I have a question for you, congregation. Do you, uh, CCP members, undertake, do you promise to undertake the responsibility of assisting, coming alongside the parents and the Christian upbringing of this child? Yes. Do you? Yes. Do you? Yes. Absolutely. Please come in. They, they want you here. One more. Come on. Come, come on. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. You can come there. I'm going to block you for a little bit here, okay? Can you all see there? Hannah Theresa Silver, right? Yes. How much do you like water? Uh, what? <laughs> she does. She does. You're not taking a shower, okay? <laughs> this is a ceremony. Oh yeah? yeah. I, I agree. Hannah. By the by <laughs> <laughs> claiming God's promises. Believing in his promises in our Lord Jesus Christ, what he's done for us. By the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And God's people say, Amen. All right. <laughs> They will be, you can embrace them and exchange your fellowship. Can we applaud one more time as they, as they return to their seats? All right. Thank you.